What's up you guys, we're back for another chapter 2 video. We have case 2.3. The application title is called Your School App. My dog just woke up. And normally when he wakes up, he has to go use the restroom, so shoot. But anyways, let's go ahead and make a new folder. Case 2.3. Enter that. Open up Android Studio. What's up, baby? His name is Ramsey. He's a cutie pie. He's a uh, Sheetland Sheepdog. Or, uh, yeah, I think that's right. What's up, baby? Uh, people also call him Shoties. Did I say that already? I remember. Okay. So the project is going to be called Your School App. So you can actually customize this. Your School App. Put it in the same folder. And while the app's create, the project's loading, I'm going to read the purpose. So, and watch my dog at the same time. Uh, the, this large app provides information on every school in your country. Create two screens for the app. You can use the app to select the name of a school and then display information about the school. So the first step is the opening screen displays the name of your school, a picture of your school, and a button control. Create your own layout. Okay. The second step, the second screen displays the name of your school, a picture of your logo, the school address, and the phone number. So get into the habit of adding comments and main activity and on create okay be a good boy Ramsey. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a school. I go to um, UTSA. So I'm gonna get a school image of that. Backside. This is cool. That's a cool one. Okay, so Save image as UTSA. Actually, do it all caps because this one doesn't matter. Save. And we're going to need some information, but so we'll keep Google open. And another screen. Okay, so we're going to open UTSA. Uh, export. PNG. And this is going to be lowercase. Close that, delete this one, open our folder, chapter 2, case 3. Okay, uh, so the first name of your school, picture of your school, and the button control. Okay, so we need a picture of your logo. What do you second screen later? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Delete this. Some gonna have some strings. I'm gonna do the first screen for now. Open editor. So name of your school, so we're gonna do text school name. Okay, we'll just do school name. name. And then do TSA and then uh, name of your school image school image do TSA image of UTSA campus and then um, button button info and then we're going to put information of school okay close that got our strings for the first one so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to have the name of the school Text school name and the constraints. I hate when it does that. Okay. Text school name TSA. Go ahead and make that thirty six SP. I probably should have named it University of Texas at San Antonio, but Oh shoot, with that fudge. 600. Okay, so we have UTSA. Now we're going to have the image. Center it. Okay. OK. 
and so please stay there. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the image. Copy. Drag will paste it. That's good. Image view. Project UTSA. Okay. Image school. I think that's where I got it. Where it said UTSA. Caps. Okay. Boom. Okay. Make sure the scroller get on my face. With height, content description, uh, image or UTSA campus. Let's go ahead and stretch this bad boy. And then we're going to set it up 300. Actually, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, because then we can have a huge button. Okay. Put a button right here. Button info. Boop. That's a good spot, I guess. Text button. Nope, we wanted to say information of school. And then we'll make that text 25 SP. There you go. Okay, information is cool. Now, if you don't like that, how it's in all caps, we could do is scroll down and we're going to look for text all caps. Right now, it's on true. Go ahead and just put it to false. Sweet, so we have that. So we're going to save it and we're going to code the button now. So we're going to put that to main Java, instantiate the button. So instantiate, instant. Button class with button widget import. I like to see what was there. So, okay. So, button enter button info equals button find ID or the ID dot. There you go. Awesome. So, button info. Dot set on click listener new view on click listener end button info end uh, what is this on click okay so I'm gonna go to another screen and that's gonna be start activity new tent and then main Oh my gosh. Main activity dot this comma uh info class, what is it called? Information dot class. Okay. So we're gonna make a new class and we're gonna call this information. In information activity on create. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if the Java awesome. XML, good. Okay, and then that's good. Okay, so the second screen displays the name of your school, a picture of your logo, and the school address and phone number. Okay, so now what we could do is open up strings, open editor, edit text official name and then University of Texas dash San Antonio and then we had text address and when it comes to do mall okay and then we're gonna do image logo image of UTSA logo okay so we're gonna get omo and then um a logo and then text phone so then no okay so copy that 
So address, paste, enter, and then the phone number. Okay. Go ahead and oh no, we need logo. You just say logo. Ah, okay. Uh, I like the bird. This is actually pretty cool. I just wish it was by itself. We'll do this one. So save it. Oop. Wrong button. Save image as all caps logo. Just put it on desktop. Close it. Open it here. Uh, export. So I'm gonna copy that. Put it here. Okay. Go back to drawable. Paste it. Okay. All right. Sweet. So we're gonna have the title. Text. I don't even remember what I called it. Uh, University of Texas official name. Official name. All right. Wait for that scroll to go away. Awesome. And then we're gonna make text and five this speed. Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna do five hundred. 600. Okay. And now the logo. Center it. Project logo. Okay. Alright, so we do image logo. Go ahead and stretch it. And then for our peeps with the accessibility image of UTSA logo. And then we can go ahead and move it up. 300. Not bad. Okay, so then we have the address. Okay, text, address. So I live in an apartment complex, so if you hear dogs barking, people talking, noise upstairs, downstairs, <laughs> it's apartment living. So, all right, there you go. We do, um, do 20 SP. Okay. And we'll do 300. It's not bad. Actually, it kind of is bad if all we have is the address and phone number, right? Yeah. All right, so then. Text phone. Huge. Forty SP. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna hit and save it. Run it. There you go. UTSA. It's kind of high. Information of school. Click that. You know why? Because I didn't do show layout. So that's why. So that's an easy fix. Just do show layout, official school name, and we're going to set it. This is zero. And we're going to do 400, 500. Okay. And then we're going to do the image logo. It's 300, so we'll do 250. Okay. And on the first screen, go ahead and just move everything down. Let's see what number this is. 6 would we'll be 5. And then image 2. And save it. Run it. Sweet. Your school app. UTSA. Image of my school, information of school. 
University of Texas, San Antonio. And then bam. There you go. That was um, Case Project 2.3. Stay tuned for 2.4, 2.5, and 2.6. I think the last two projects are three screens. And this next project is just two screens. So thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you hated it. Subscribe, comment, questions, tips, suggestions, improvements, yada, yada, yada. And I'll see you all next time.